Okay, so hey guys, we got a unboxing for today. So I got out a bunch. We'll be taking a look at a bunch of different things. So for this one, I have a bunch of packs of the new Zen Car Rising, as well as one pack of the Core Twenty One. I also have an Ikoria Layer of Behemoths bundle, which includes 10 booster packs, as well as a couple other things. We'll be taking a look at that. Uh, I had taken all of these out of their outside casings just to save time. So we have a couple of those going on. But let's get started. First one's in the Trap. Target creature gets minus one, minus zero. If you control a wizard. Oh yeah, that's right. Zendikar has a lot of the uh, the class types. So the cleric, I think it's cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. Classic D&D types, which I think is super cool that they did for the new Zendikar set, which I think is really interesting. That they included that party type status. So it'll that'll fit you to have a little bit more diversity when it comes to your deck, and then you can run things like this, where if you control a wizard, I know there's a couple other wizard cards, or like uh, class specialty cards. Uh, Smite the Monstrous, that's a neat art. That's a reprint, but that's a neat art for Smite the Monstrous. Uh, Scorch Rider, looks like it gets a kicker. Enters a battlefield, goes kicked, gains haste until end of turn. That's not bad. Well, kind of. Not really. Not really good. Could be a good bomb for a uh, draft. Hag or Constrictor. I think this one is a reprint, but I love that snake artwork. That is just super cool. Each creature you control with plus one, plus one counters menace. That's actually pretty good. I like that. I actually might put him in a deck. That could be cool. Reclaim the Waste, Kicker, Search the Library, Reveal it. If it's a spell, Kicked with two basic lands. Okay, so kind of a more versatile, but not as good card on this reach. Uh, Stonework Peck Beast, interesting looking card. Uh, is also a Cleric, Road Warrior, and Wizard. How do you like that? Two, add two mana of any color. Wow! That's actually super useful. That's crazy useful. He might go in a deck soon. Uh, Malachir Blood Priest, enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life for X number of creatures in your party. Oh, cool, so more of the party dynamic. Destroy target land. Let's control and research the library for basic land, put it on the battlefield, and draw a card. Interesting. Kind of geyser mage, kicker, and just battlefield. Okay, just return my creature. Okay, so bounce. Seagate banneret. Good looking art. That's old school looking art right there. That would that would work really well on like a, an old border style magic card. I think um, like around 10th edition. That would be really cool. Yeah, really old school. Has like a that high fantasy look to it, which I love. And uh, not a super useful card, but he's he's good. Because he has at least a warrior and a core. Uh, Rooster Drakes. Rooster Drakes kicked. For you. It was kick spell. Okay, a couple of Drakes. Kerrigan War Leader. Other warriors get plus one, plus one. Easy. Easy money. Uh, Kazul's Fury. Another cool looking high fantasy art card. That's super great. Sacrifice creature, taste damage you. Okay, so it's a flame. Uh, any target. And I love the artwork. Yeah, that's really cool. And Kazu's Cliffs. Basically a um, flip for versatile. Pretty neat. I'm loving some of this artwork from the new Zendikar set. Mall of the Skyclaves. I actually just got this in... Uh, added to a uh, commander deck, which I'm actually going to be doing uh, another video for later, so we'll go over that in a bit. Full Art Swamp, as with Zendikar, you always get these full art lands, and I love them. I love full art. Oh, and then uh, a reminder card. That's kind of cool. Flip side reminder card. How do you like that? And that's useful for other stuff, too. You can represent this card as a double face card. That's great. You can even use that for um, things out of Innistrad. Yeah, 
And with the new Kaldheim set, I know they're going to be doing the, uh, the flips too, so that's neat. Hold that off to the side. Okay, next one. Expedition Healer. Vigilance has lifelink as long as you control a cleric. Another cleric, rather. Cool. Pyroclastic Helion. Enters the battlefield and may return land. Holds its own hand. Takes two magic. Okay. Shell Shield. Kicker. Spell gets kicked. Also gets hexproof. Good. That's useful. Yeah, that's really useful. Broken Wings. Destroy target artifact and enchantment. Uh, flying. Pretty good. Another Hydra Constrictor. Strength of Solidarity. Uh, for each creature of your party. Okay. That's really good if you're running a party deck, for sure. Total value if you can pop it off. Royal Eruption. Stonework Patch Beast. Another Malakir Blood Priest. Disenchant. Always useful to have a little disenchant in there. It's a nice looking card, too. The rays coming out of there. What do we have here? Toward the Grave. That is some good looking art, too. Zendikar has some amazing aura. Look at how good that looks with the hands and everything over the creature. Spell cost one is cast for each return target creature card. And up to one target and up to. Wow. Cost one less for each party. Wow. Party reanimator. Oh, that's cool. Super interesting. Uh, Power Blade Charge is equipped. It has haste. When it dies, deals damage equal to its power to any target. Okay. Malakir Rebirth. Choose target creature. You lose two life until end of turn. That creature can this creature dies. Turn it to battlefield control. Interesting. And then, neat looking Mire on the back. See, I love how they do the card, and then the land is the background of the card, so. You can have it either way. Nimble Trap Finder, cool. I like this guy. He's very cool looking. Uh, can't be blocked if you have another. Okay, so. You have a full party. Creatures in control. Cool. And full art swirly island. I love it. I love this one. It's my favorite one of the new islands. Big whirlpool as a full art. And then a nice little copy token. Great. Resolute Strike. Creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's a warrior, you can attach equipment you control to. Oh, that's interesting. That's really good. That's super good for like a knight or warrior deck. Zulport Duelist, there's a battlefield, gets a uh, controller and mills two cards. Nice. Nice, that's super good for a responsive deck. Uh, sneaking Guide. Can be blocked. I swear it's a shortcut. I love that. <laughs> Deliberate, scry tooth, and draw card. Interesting. You can really tell with that one how a guy's just sitting there like, ah, oh, fuck, what do I do? Which is me in almost every game. Oblivion's Hunger. Target creature you control gets indestructible until end of turn. Draw a card if that creature had a one encounter. That's pretty good. That's good for a black power deck. Don't lose survivor, enters the battlefield, play one one counter target creature. Okay. Canopy Bayloth. More Bayloths. Landfall. Canopy Bayloth gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Interesting. Akum Hellhound with the alternative art. Nice. Bubble Snare. In the battlefield. If it was kick tapped, it doesn't untap. Taps tap. Okay. Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Very nice. Enters the battlefield. Attached to target creature control. Target creature is born. Cool. Demon's Disciple. Enters the battlefield. Each player sacrifices creature or planeswalker. Oh, so that's just a flesh bag marauder. Okay. But it's cleric. It's a human cleric flesh bag marauder. Very cool. Oh, but it has the planeswalker ability too, so that's actually better than flesh bag. Or worse, depending on what kind of planeswalkers are running. 
Thundering Spark Mage deals X damage to target. You are X the number of creatures in your party. Nice. And more party. Paratactician. I always want to look at what we'll encounter on him. Okay. Cads do Mammoth. Landfall gets plus two plus two till end of turn. That's pretty good. Three three for three with a landfall trigger. That's not bad. Plus you also have the variety of flipping him onto a a forest. That's cool. And full art planes and an insect token. Nice. That's the great thing about Zendikar is you'll always get those full art lands. It's fantastic. Core Celebrant, Triforce. Or another creature on the battlefield, you can knife. Okay, Molten Blast, do you need to destroy target artifact. Anti-cognition, that's a cool word. Uh, counter, unless space two, if an opponent has any more cards in their graveyard, instead counter that spell and scryed. Angel Heart Protector, cool artwork. Uh, as a battlefield target creature, you control to get indestructible. Okay. Be nice if it had flash though. Um uh, if it was kicked to not just battlefield, you might each creature you control the one-one counter has trample. Good. Another high grade constrictor, getting a lot of those. Feed the swarm. Destroy target creature and opponent, you lose life, you lose that mana cost. Interesting. Expedition definer, as long as you control another wizard, whenever it dies, control guard, okay. Mrs. Zendikon, Enchant Lands, 4-4, four, four, Reach with Haze, still a land, when it dies, return that card to its owner's hand. Okay, so you get that land back, that's great. Because a lot of times, whenever you have something that turns something into a land, you don't get that land back if it dies. But this one you do, which is nice. Royal Land Regrowth, Sacrifice a Land, two basics, put them on tap, okay, not bad. Sure footed Infiltrator, uh, can't be blocked. Deals damage, draw a card, nice. Umara Wizard, that's cool looking merfolk. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, gets flying until end of turn, that's not bad. And then that flips into Umara Skyfalls. That's a cool looking artwork right there. I like that one. And Seagate Stormcaller, kicker. When it enters the battlefield, copy the next instant sorcery with convert a mana cost to a list you would catch this turn. Was kicked, copy that spell twice instead. You may choose new targets for the copies. Interesting. Good for Blue Wizard deck. And can also go in uh, regular party deck too. Now, what is this? That one's got a promo on it. It's got a date. So I don't know. I just pulled that out of a random pack, I think, though. So that looks like a box topper with a 19 to 20 September 2020. So maybe that's a box topper promo? I don't know. Draw two cards, discard a card. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, put a spell. Please All right. It's all right. Not great, but kind of okay. Full Art Forest. And another flip reminder card. Cool. I'm going to hang on to those. Might need them for call time. I was just thinking, what I really like about the whole party aspect of it is, like, now they're coming out with cards that can be for a party, but you don't necessarily have to have, like, all of the new cards. You can run a party deck that runs a couple of those, like, party cards, but have old clerics, old wizards, old warriors, that kind of thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. Expedition Healer, Pyroclast Teleon, Shell Shield, all stuff we've seen before. Zima Raptor, Enters Battlefield, you may return target land, you control to its own sand, not bad. Marauding Blight Priest, that's really cool. Zendikar also had some really cool vampires. Drana is definitely one of my favorite cards. And uh, Kalidus. Kalidus was a fucking cool vampire, too. Uh, whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Ooh, that's Aristocrats. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Red Blade, Elf Rogue, Death Touch. Nice, I actually like that. That's cool, simple, cool. Looking so we saw that. Spitfire Lagak. Skycliff Squid. Shout out to my boy, the Squid. Relic Amulet. Move all counters. Relic Amulet deals damage to damage. Which you may be cast into Charger. Okay. Fireblade Charger. Fireblade Charger is equipped as haste. When it dies, deals damage equal to the power target. Okay. 
Akum Warrior. That's kind of cool. Flips, what is it? Flip to Aku Teeth. Kind of neat. Oh, a Morag. I actually have a Morag already, but I have the alternative art. This is the regular Morag. Excellent. Each creature you control gets plus one plus over each time it's been attacked. Okay, extra combat phase. Awesome. Morag. Forest and add card. First full add card, but that's alright. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, reprint of Tormenting Voice. But this time it's a dragon yelling at a goblin. That's great. Shell Shield. Practice Tactics. Choose target instant. Choose target attacker and blocking creatures. Deal damage twice. Have creatures in your party. Interesting. That would be good for... Uh, that would be good for, like, a, a quick movement, fast-paced, aggro party style deck if you were running like uh you know something quick maybe red white subtle strike choose one or both try to choose minus one minus one okay not bad territorial scythe cat that's a cool looking art look at how the whole thing is green trampled landfall very cool mind drain great artwork on that that's super cool looking Target opponent discards two cards, mills a card, and loses life. You gain life. Nice. It's like Micropox. Feed the swarm, destroy target creature for enchantment. Opponent controls. Oh, enchantment removal on black. Jesus. I think I drew one of those before, though. Expedition Finder. Descendicon. Skyclip Plunder. Top X cards in your library. X is three plus the number of creatures in your party. Put three of those cards in your hand and the rest of the bottom of your library in random order. Okay, Brushfire Elemental, Alternative Art, very colorful. Black Bloom Road, you know what, that actually looks a lot like a, uh, um, an Eldrazi, a small Eldrazi drone that was in the last set. It's kind of cool. Menace gets three, as long as the opponent has three more cards in their graveyard. Wow, that's actually pretty powerful. So you could potentially have a 5-3 with Menace for 3. That's not bad. And can turn into the Bog. Very cool looking Bog. Lavina, Shield of Seagate. Beginning of your turn. Angel Wizard, cool. At the beginning of your turn, if you have a full party, choose target non-land permanent and opponent controls until your next turn. Can't attack a block. No active abilities. Take that for indestructible. Oh, wow, that's super useful. And a 3-3 three, three flyer for 3. Wow, that is pretty good. Shiny Seafloor Stalker. Full Art Lava Mountain. And another ad card. Okay. Next. Alright, Zulaport Duelist. Good card, I like that guy. Mesa Lynx, as long as it's your turn, Mesa Lynx gets plus O plus 2. Okay. Molten Blast, deals 2 damage to a Planeswalker. Destroy target artifact, no Seaport Stalker, draw a Visionary, enters the battlefield, draw a card. Okay. Expedition Skulker, has Death Touch, as long as you control another rogue. Okay. Grab Bug Catcher, attacks, gets plus 2 plus 2. Plus 1 plus O, oh, rather. Uh. Prowling Felidar, Vigilance Landfall, Battlefield, okay, that's alright, Nyx's Endicon, Brushfire Elemental, not bad, Haste, can't be blocked by creatures, power 2 or less, Landfall, and just pop, gets plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Uh, Relic Amulet, 
Sky Clay Cleric, enter the battlefield, gain two life, or you can get Sky Clay Basilica. Very cool. And Beladar Retreat. That is a cool looking art. Very fantasy looking. Like, like, uh, internet artwork, kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it. But very nice looking. Like, like, uh, Online paintings kind of thing. Digital paintings. It's battlefield under your control two's one. Two two cat beast. It's pretty cool. Ooh, shiny swamp. Love it. And a regular full arm mountain. And a double face reminder card. Very good. Negate. Another Mesa Lynx. Teeter Pack Ambusher. Oblivion's Hunger. Turret of Bright Blade. McKindy Ox. Landfall. And his Battlefield Tap Turret. Controls. Okay. Glacial Grasp. Feed the Swarm. Rabbit Bite. That's a good one. I have that one. Intended Healer. Whenever you gain life for the first time, create a white one white cat. Another target player gains life link. Okay. Ross is Sproutling. Kicker. And his battlefield if it was kicked, return target player with kick ability from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Bean Veil. Raiders your bonus control and minus two minus one turn. Or Bean Coast. Oh, Jace, Mirror Mage. Always good to pull a Jace. That makes the whole thing worth it. Kick or two. And there's a battlefield. If Jace was kicked, create a mirror token. Let's copy a mirror mage. It's not legendary. It has starting loyalty of one. Awesome. Scry two. Draw a card and reveal it. Remove a number of loyalty counters. Let's see what's in there. Ah, so no minus ability, but there is a way for him to lose stuff. Interesting. Gnarled Colony. Shiny. And we have another full arm mountain and an insect token. Awesome. Pull the Jace. That means the whole thing's worth it, right? Okay, sneaking guide. Zulu for duelist. Dauntless survivor. And there's a battlefield one for creatures. Blood prize. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand. You lose two life. Ghoul draws Mucklord, Crocodile. When it dies, put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. Okay. Marasa Brute. It's a 3 3 troll for free. Troll Warrior. Cool. You're into Sky Dancer, Flash Flying, enters the battlefield, target opponent mills too. Cool. It's a rogue. Cunning kind of Geyser Mage. Vanquish the Weak, destroy power of three or less. Cool. Rise and Riptide. I love that art. That is a beautiful looking wave. Whenever you cast a kick spell, his base power up to 5 5 till end of turn. Wow. That's a cool looking card. So simple, but so nice looking. Beautiful. Kite Cell Cleric. Base Camp. Good for. Maybe I'll make. Maybe if I got a base camp, maybe I'll make a party deck. Song Mad Treachery. Gain control, gain taste, and Song Mad Ruins. Cool. Charix, the Raging Isle. Nice. Leviathan Crab. With 0 and 17. What? Spells your opponents cast the target. Cost two more to cast. Three. It's minus, plus X, minus X, where X is the number of islands you control. Whoa. That might have to go in a blue deck. That's cool. Four at Swamp. And a Goblin construct from some kind of dude. Cool looking though. Okay. And the last pack we have is the Core 21, so let's see what we get. This one's a little tougher to open. It's got glue all over the top of it, and I didn't really like that. I don't know why. It's the only one that came that way, so who knows? Maybe they're trying to keep me out. Keep people out. Zombie token. Nice. Rugged Highlands. Good. 
Oh, Chandra Heart of Fire, that one M21 pack ended up being worth it. Hell yeah. Nice. So that is two Planeswalkers in ten packs. That's not bad at all. Discard your hand, exile the top three cards of your library, then turn them in. Two enchantments change your target, creature card in your graveyard, library for any number of sorcery cards, exile them and shuffle the library and because of turn. Add six mana. Whoa. Whoa. Temple of Milady. Chandra, Milady. Just got Elder, cool. Invigorating Surge, nice. Dire Fleet Warmonger. Nice. Hunter's Edge. Teferi's Protege. Grasp of Darkness, awesome. Grasp of Darkness is always good. Return to Nature. Check down. Scry 3, fill the top 3, creature line drop down. Crypt Lurker, cool looking dude. In the battlefield. Capture Sphere, I like that. Celestial Enforcer, turn to Slag. Oh yeah, we got Chandra, baby. Nice. Jace and Chandra together again, finally. Okay. Alright, so next is gonna be the Coria bundle. This one is going to come with 10 boosters and is a bundle with a couple of extra things in it. So let's see what it's got. Anti-theft device. Probably pretty smart. Empty box with wizards on it. I'm sure you could keep dice or something in here. I'm sure it'd be pretty useful. That would probably come in handy for dice. I think I, I think I will start using this as a little dice box. That'd be kind of neat. Comes with this beautiful box. Although I do wish they would have some alternative cards. And then it has a little bit of information on it with snap decks. And then an artwork on the other back. For a little bit of lore, if you wanted to go check that out. And then I know that this box here is reversible. So let's see if we can just reverse it real quick. Oh yeah. So that just looks super good. And it, and it is really the whole thing. It's pretty awesome. As with many of these packs, we have an oversized spin down, and I love the color combo on that. The cyan for the lettering, and then the bright gemstone blue with the eyeball for Aquaria. That's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I'm keeping that one. Nice big size. Good looking. Heavy. Perfect for a spin down because a regular spin down is a little bit smaller than that. But that's fantastic. And I love the color too. Yeah, that's super good. So, with these ones I know you get a couple of extra things. The Colossification, as well as Packs for Lands. I'm going to be hanging on to these because I might need them to build a deck later. And then we also have a couple of promo cards. And then the tokens. So I'm going to hang on to this and pop those out when I need them. Because I might need them for Cathrol at one point. I have a Cathrol uh, EDH deck that I think those would be perfect for. Now, in the actual pack itself, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boosters, and this beautiful box. That's the only thing I don't like, is that it comes with this piece of removable cardboard that is supposed to go in the box. 
So that way when you close it, it'll actually stay tight and not overshoot this part because it is angled. So not my favorite thing in the world, but not a huge factor. Okay, so now we have some Ikoria. Let's see what we get. Nice stiff wrapping on these packs. That's what I like. Okay. Hampering snare. Very nice. Memory leaked. Point reveals this one. Choose an all-in card. And cycling. Prickly marmoset. First strike whenever you cut a card gets plus two plus one to one return. Startling development. I love this card. It's so funny. The big monster just gets born with a bunch of birds. That's cool. Gloom pangolin. Nightmare pangolin. Frenzied raptor. Vanilla dinosaur. That's kind of interesting. Sudden spinnerets. Creatures get plus one, plus three. Put a reach counter on it and untap it. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Divine arrow deals four damage to attacking a blocking creature. Great. Wing rock side deals damage equal to the number of lands you control. Okay. Humble naturalist. Add one mana of any color. Only cast this. Spend this to cast a creature spell. Okay, so kind of like a uh, beastmaster. Fight is one. Target human you control gets plus one, plus one, indestructible. Target non-human gets plus one, plus one, indestructible. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Whoa. Glowstone recluse. Look at that artwork on there. That's super cool. Mutate reach. Whenever this creature mutates, put two plus one, plus one counters on it. Very neat. That's cool looking. Insatiable hemophage. Mutate death touch whenever it mutates. Loses X like gain luck. So for X is the number of creatures that have mutated. Interesting. Oh, Yorian Sky Nomad, Bird Serpent, Companion, and just battlefield any number of turns you control. Maybe the next ten step. Awesome. Swift Water Cliffs, nice. I like the crystal artwork on that one. That's cool. Catbird, cute looking guy. I like that. Oh, and he's got the little, the spotted feathers on the chest, like how owls do. That's cool. Okay, next one. Ooh, Evolving Wilds, and that's a good looking Evolving Wilds, too. Uh, facet Reader, discard a card, then draw a card, then discard a card, okay. So he's a looter. Unlucky A, turn. Again, it's indestructible. Okay. Blazing Volley deals one damage to each creature your opponent's control. Awesome. Blade Banish. Oh, that's the Wanderer. Oh, cool. Exalt target creature with power four greater. Interesting. Keep safe. Big Owl. Small dude. Counter target spell. Drop card. Cool. Perimeter Sergeant. Look out. This guy's about to get messed up. <laughs> Farfinder, cool looking fox on his battlefield. Let me search all your. Okay. Ram through, ram through, I like. Uh, excess, okay. Trumpeting Gnar, interesting looking card. Tiger Strikes Mutate, Peace, okay. Dire Tactics, Exile. Make sure if you don't control human, it looks like it's going to stop this, alright. Rumalk, Function of Cycling, okay. Slither Wisp, Elemental Nightmare. Whenever you cast uh, another spell that is flash, you draw a card, and each opponent loses one life. So for a flash heavy deck, interesting. Hampering Snare, okay. Shiny Hampering Snare. Forest, kind of cool. And Human Soldier Token, that's a nice looking one, that's kind of cool.
Okay, looks like we got another set of tokens here. Very nice. Dark Bargain. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand. The other in your graveyard. Gives two damage to you. There's a one. Deals one damage to each opponent. Okay. Greater Sandworm. Can't block the creature's power two or less. Thieving Otter. Deals damage to an opponent. Draw a card. Okay. Ritual Destruction. As Flash as you control. Permanent with Flash. It's an additional cost of the spell sacrifice creature. Destroy target creature. Interesting. Spell Eater Wolverine has double strike as long as there are three or more instant sorcery cards in your graveyard. Kind of neat. Main Serval. Vigilance Cat with a one pour. That's not bad. Uh, Boot and a Burn. Just a battlefield of your choice. Death Touch or Lifelink. Useful. Fertilid enters the battlefield with two more wound counters. Solid footing gets plus one plus one has a vigilance and a size to its toughness rather than its power. Hmm. Interesting, that's pretty good. Omnisease, put a four shadow counter, reveal H, blue kraken. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. That would be good in a deck with a uh, thing in the ice. Monstrous step. Or cycling, not bad. Easy prey. <laughs> uh, that's cool. There's always a bigger fish. Structure creature with converting that cost two or less. Okay. Ooh, that jaws. Voracious great shark. Flash enters the battlefield. Counter target artifact or creature spell. I'm liking this whole flash tribal thing. That's kind of neat. So I think a little bit of flash tribal might be kind of neat to make. Enters the battlefield. Counter target artifact or creature spell. Interesting. That's a cool card. Rugged Highlands, Crystals. Crystals seem to be a big deal in Ikoria. That's probably what's making all the creatures change. Okay, next one. No, oh, no kidding. A promo for D&D &D Theros. I also play Dungeons & Dragons, and I think that is super cool how they kind of did a crossover of Theros and Dungeons & Dragons for an official set. That's very neat. And on the back is a human soldier token. Sweet. Unexpected fangs, put a woman counter on. And a lifeline counter, that's good. Go for blood, target creature you control, fights target creature you don't control. Light of hope, choose one, gain four life, destroy target arrow. enchantment, put a woman counter on target creature. Super useful. That's crazy useful. One of mine, spell costs two less if you can a human creature and a non-human, draw two cards. Okay. Wow. That might be good for the party deck that I think I might want to make. Deadweight. Oh, I love Deadweight. Not a super big fan of that artwork, but... Okay. Might have had a little problem with the video there, but... Oh, well. If you missed a couple, I think it was just the end of the Labyrinth Raptor and a Flourishing Fox for some cycling. That might be my mistake. That's okay, though. We'll just keep on moving. We're about halfway done, so we got a few more packs. We'll do these up real quick. The first few are usually the slowest ones, just because I'm getting myself familiarized with some of the mechanics and things from the set, because each set will have its own thing. So we got Plummet, Strike it, Reach with Flying. Capture Sphere, I've seen Capture Sphere. It's Rated Scorpion. Dies, deals two damage, gain two life. Okay. Shredding Sails. Target Artifact. Sleeper Dart. I know Sleeper Dart. Gust of Wind. Spell cost two less if you have a creature with flying. Draw a card. Okay. Pacifism. Everybody loves Pacifism. Thwart the enemy. Prevent all damage. That would be dealt to you. Control. Promise. Snare Tactician. Whenever you cycle a card, tap target creature and opponent controls. Migratory Great Horn. Crazy looking dude. Oh, uh, mutate whenever this creature mutates. Search your library for basic land. Put it on the battlefield. Tapped, okay. Carried a crystal. That's one of the three color cycling artifacts. Very good. I have the elemental on this battlefield. X1 counters. Interesting. Weaponize the monster. Sacrifice creature. Weaponize the monster. Deal two damage to any target. Not so great, but that's alright. Drand of Magistrate, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Interesting. Good for control. Dismal Backwater. 
And Narset of the Ancient Way emblem. Cool. Hopefully we see a Narset. Okay. More tokens. Corpse churn. No way. That's a reprint of an old card. I know Corpse Churn. Wow, they actually reprinted that. I might be wrong, but I think I know Corpse Churn. That's cool. Forbidden Friendship. Oh, they're friends. That's me when I pass somebody's... Yeah, never mind. Garrison Cat. When Garrison Cat dies, create a 1-1 one -one white human soldier token. Nice. Anticipate. Nice looking anticipate. Night Squad Commando. Enter the battlefield if you attack this turn. A one on counter. Human soldier creature token. Cathartic Green. And, oh, they got back together. That's nice. Divine Arrow. Glimmer Bell. That's a cool looking card. Flying on tap Glimmer Bell. Neat. Essence Symbiote. Checkpoint Officer. Uh, this is cool. This guy's actually got an interesting weapon that you'd actually probably realistically see in a monster set, which would be a pole catch. That's very cool. Good attention to detail. Dustfine Mentor enters the battlefield. Human creature control. That's right, so they cared a lot about humans and not humans. Skull Prophet, very cool. You might use him for something else. Unbreakable Bond. It's all about people being nice to animals, and that's good. Whoa! Alternate art Vadrox, Apex of Thunder. That's what I'm talking about. That's a pull right there, boys. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And planes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mutate flying first strike whenever this creature mutates. You may cast target non creature card from converting my cost from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Awesome. Maybe that'll go in Jeskai. I just made a Jeskai commander deck, so maybe I'll just throw him in there just because. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. Alternate art, badass looking. Love him. That's a pull. Getting some pulls tonight. Brush wag. Actually, you know what? I lied about the Vadrock. This is the pull of the night. The almighty brush wag. Do not defy his power. Hampering snare. Memory leak. Prickly marmoset. Startling development. Gloom pangolin. Fertilid. Patagia Tiger. Patagia Tiger. And uh, humans you control. Human? Target human. Okay. Interesting. Cloud Piercer. Good dinosaur. Necropanther. Badass name. Raugren Crystal. Good. I needed that actually. Uh, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Cool. That would be a cool name for a heavy metal song. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. But like an 80s metal song. That'd be neat. Damage equal to target number in the source card from the graveyard and the creature will put into exile instead, and that's not bad. Ooh, eerie ultimatum. Oh, cool. I did need that. Oh, and a foil island. Nice. A thornwood falls and an add card. Got the eerie ultimatum though. I needed that. I actually did need that. That's sweet. So I open this up, and what's inside is just this creepy girl looking at me. I was like, oh my god. Felt like I was in a comic by Junji Ito. Frenzied Raptor. Another Evolving Wilds. Always good to have a couple of those on deck. Facet Reader. Nice. Unlikely Aid. Blazing Folly. Honey Mammoth. Enters the battlefield. You gain four life. Good. 
Oh, the Vulcan Pete with the alternative art. That's a cool looking one. I'm just going to keep that just because I like the way it looks. That's kind of cool. Ram through. Man, several. Who's over on Wolf Bear? <laughs> Fat ass bear. Primal Epiphany. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. You control a creature with a greatest power. Always put a one on counter. Creature control. Interesting. Suspicious Starx, Elk Beast. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanents or exit the number of times this creature is mutated. Put those permanent cards on the battlefield. Okay. Crystal and Giant. At the beginning of combat, choose a kind of counter at random. It doesn't have flying first strike damage. Ooh, maybe I'll put that in the Cathrol deck because that's all keyword abilities and 1 1 counters. Okay, maybe I will put that in the Cathedral deck. Solid footing, and I like the Porcupine Bear. That's cool. Swamp, and another Catbird. Getting some stuff tonight out of these decks. The Sicoria box has ended up... Well, it's not a box, but it's a bundle. The Sicoria bundle has ended up being totally bad. Okay. Blade Banish, Keep Safe, Dark Bargain, Bitter Spit Gremlin, Deals One Damage, Change Reaction, Knock It Over on Tap, okay, Greater Sandworm, Eating Otter, Bar Binder, Adventurous Impulse, Solid Footing, Boot Nipper, Escape Protocol, Recycle Card, you may feel one if you do Exile Turn, you should never turn into battle, okay. Zenith Flare. Excellent number. Blow in your graveyard. Yes. Zenith Flare. Void Reckoner. Death Touch. One of the creatures you control. Okay. Giganta of the Wellspring. I don't know. Let's see. Companion. Um, interesting. That's a weird card. Bloodfell Caves. And a human soldier. With this guy on the back. I like that guy. Alright, last pack. And we got some more tokens, which I'll need. Mutual Destruction. Spell Eater Wolverine. Adaptive Shimmerer. This is Battlefield of Three One Counters. Okay. Phase Dolphin. Poacher. Sacrifice your creature. Can... Heighten reflexes. Okay. Survivor's Bond. Choose one of all the turn from your graveyard to your hand. Turn to your Okay. Glider Nightmare Squirrel. This is Battlefield. Your choice of flying or first strike. Okay. Essence Scatter, Counter Target Creature Spell, Fully Grown, plus three plus three gets trampled on the turn. Barrier Breach, Exile up to three target enchantments. Ooh, Regal Leosaur. That's a cool looking alternative art. Whenever this creature mutates with a creature you control the plus two plus one on the turn. Oh, cool. Swallow hole is an additional cost tap and untap creature you control exile tap creature put one counter on the creatures taps paid this spell is extra cost interesting oh and a fiend artisan yes yes awesome that is so going in the new decks yes that's awesome oh man we have gotten some pulls tonight oh and it's a Final land is a forest. We have gotten some pulls tonight. So, that is fantastic. All right, that's going to be it for this unboxing. Oh, and uh, I forgot. Let me show you just real quick the full artwork. If I can zoom out a little bit. Full artwork for the Coria flip on the box, which I just think is super cool. Super detailed. Very good looking. Okay, goodbye.